there, Molly here at Design Love Detail, and we are looking at the patio space that I shared last week, the furniture finds and the details that I chose for that space, as well as a few new um, little add-ins that I found that are gonna be perfect to finish off that space. Stay tuned. You probably caught that I was deciding on what table I wanted. I got that square one and it is really cute. I love the base of it. It's got the coolest base. It is the Allen and Roth Chesterbrook square outdoor dining table. Um, it's about four foot by four foot square and it's really cute. And the more that I look at it, the more that I like it, but I'm also debating doing a more rectangular table, which I found one also from, it's also from Lowe's. It is a one where I could do six chairs and would, wouldn't be as wide. Cause that was kind of the thing that I was torn on was was if there was enough space around the square table with it being four feet where the rectangle ones are usually closer to three feet. All right, so this other one that I found is also the same brand. Um, it's actually a little bit cheaper, which is nice. Uh, it's the Allen and Roth Event, Avent, very rectangle outdoor dining table. Who names this stuff? I really don't know. Um, this one is 39 inches wide and then it's 72 inches long, so it definitely gives us more length and then cuts off about a close to 10 inches um, on the width across. Anyway, I'm looking at this one. I love the base of it, really cute. I'm trying to figure out the color of it because it looks kind of brown and some pictures kind of gray and others, but this is my other one I'm considering, so I thought I would share it because the price is really good being under 200. Yeah, it's almost like the finish on this one is kind of like, um, almost like it's brown with a black wash over it, so it might work. Also, it's not that hard to paint patio furniture. Okay, yeah, it's kind of, it's, it, it is kind of brownish overall with like a, a black, almost like look to make it look like wood or something. So I need to think on that a little more, but I love the shape of that table. I wanted to talk about, you know, the pieces that we have in there. The fire pit for one is really fun. It's the same brand again from Lowe's and it's it's got some good height to it, which I love. Not like some, some fire pits are really um, small and low to the ground. This one's like taller, almost more like a table height, which I think is great for, you know, when you're roasting marshmallows, doing s'mores or something that you have it a little bit higher up. And anyway, I love that it looks like concrete and it's more modern. This one has about four stars on reviews. There's a couple people that said they had issues with some paint peeling, but then others didn't have that. So I don't know if that's like maybe on different climates or something, but I figured it was worth worth taking a, a chance on it because it's just such a good size and look um, with that concrete shape to it. And it, you saw it out there. I also thought since ours was um, being used on the covered patio that maybe the weather wouldn't affect it as bad there. So that would be good. Uh, really, really cute piece. And then those chairs that you see around it that I put the cute Target stripe pillows on, those were a TJ Maxx online find. They're currently not available, but I'm hoping they come back because a lot of times you'll notice that their stuff kind of cycles back in stock at different points. Um, so I'm gonna watch carefully for those because they're really cool. And then also the um, Rope and Wope, Rope and Wope, <laughs> Wope, oh my gosh. Rope woven, yeah, that's it. Rope woven chairs, woven rope chairs that are around that square table. Those are the TJ Maxx ones as well. So I had those in my last house. I ordered them again because they're so great. Um, they look like the designer ones and they, they are, they're great. So what's funny is that I have ordered those twice and one of the times it listed them as outdoor and one of them, it didn't list them as outdoor. They were both the same. So I think that they're okay for outdoors. Again, it's covered patio where I'm using them. So I figured they'd be fine. I will let you know, I won't be, like probably seeing really long-term usage of them, but I'll keep an eye on them while we um, still have the property. So anyway, those are really cute around the table and they're just such a good detail, the, the rope chairs and the cushion covers on those are removable so they can be cleaned, washed up and put back on. I don't dry them. I, with our last ones, they never even really got dirty. We had them in our basement and I was surprised they did great. So I never did actually wash them, but I wouldn't dry those. If you have them, I just um, probably let them air dry. And then let's, see what else is back there. Oh, um, so I did that cute blue, light blue patio set out in that little, on the flagstone. I wanted it to have kind of that like charming look out there. So that is a really fun set. That one's from Home Depot. I'll link all these, of course. That one's really quite comfortable. That's the one I did the reel on that I was like when I was setting it up. Um, and I jumped on the coffee table and it was super solid. So really gave that one a good testing. And it it's holding up well. So. That's good to know. And uh, I did get the Walmart. So the Walmart love seats that I shared recently, I don't think we've shared them on here. I know when they came in stock because it's a new product 
and it matches with um, a chair that I have, the patio chair I have from Walmart. So when they came in stock, I heard and shared them on Instagram stories because it's so cool because they have like a um, ottoman that comes with it and the price is so good. So this is $3.29. This is one that I'm going, that I got two of that I'm gonna actually try setting up on that that patio, flagstone patio. So when um, we do our final walkthrough video of the, the whole tour for this house, we'll see if I end up keeping the blue or going with this cream. Um, I definitely always lean toward neutrals, but I was trying to mix it up a little and I really love both of these pieces. So we'll see kind of um, when I try that option out, but I wanted to share with you guys because the price on this, the $3.29 is for the love seat and the, the ottoman. And so it makes it almost like a chaise um, or you can use it as almost like a coffee table to that sort of thing. Put your feet up or use it to put magazines or something. Anyway, really, really fun. Um, I think that that price is great. Uh, yay Walmart. And the chair that I have from that same collection is great quality. I'll be sharing that in the, it's on the front patio of this house. So we'll be sharing that soon. Another piece that I am loving. Well, first of all, I made this design board that um, has kind of some accessories. Cause I felt like when I started putting everything together, I'm like, I need a little bit extra a little just to finish it off a little something so I added those target pillows that you guys saw the striped ones and I had the three I just got my fourth one ordered so yay we'll have a fourth pillow I was nervous it might be sold out but I got one and I love those they're the perfect size for just the chair backs like that and then that stripe is just classic so those are on my design board here um, that I put together and it's all neutrals kind of like black and white with grays and tan just really neutral subtle colors because sometimes patio furniture can get really loud and colorful and I think it can be a little bit busy um, because there's already so many colors outside you know with your grass and your your flowers and your shrubs and anyway like outside is colorful already so that's part of why I love more um, neutral uh, for the patio furniture and that subtle blue I liked as well but sometimes the ones that have patterned cushions and stuff like on the actual patio furniture get like the big florals and stuff they can get kind of busy so we bring in usually a little bit of pattern in my pillows because again that's something you could kind of switch out over the years if you ever tire of them and there's some really affordable ones I've found um, Marshall's had some good ones some cool textured um, indoor outdoor pillows that are on here as well as some good outdoor rugs they had a cute black and white stripe and then also this gray um, pattern one that I've included on the design board really loving both of those and what else okay and then planters they've got some cool planters as well there's a set of three that are woven rope in a gray woven rope that were really a fun shape loved those so i put that on the design board as well as another planter from world market that's just super cute with kind of the texture and the neutrals so all of these i think work really well together and give a cute space um, to kind of or a finishing touch to the space and they also have the lanterns um, at Target those metal lanterns they're very um, they're just metal no glass which I actually really love for outdoors almost a Moroccan feel but really modern still um, they have those in a, uh, three different sizes I think so I have those on the design board um, another uh, thing I'm gonna link is some open weave pedestal planters that I've shared recently from Marshall's those are really cool too and they're kind of like a gray um looks like rope but they're like a, i think it's more of like a plasticky so they have great texture and then the planters on the pedestal are kind of nice because then you can have varied height to your plants around and those were a great price they also have the plant stand slash like side tables here this matte black one that i'm loving that one is really great to mix in if you need a little side table i use those capiz they were like capiz shell ones that were also from pj maxx they're currently um they don't have those but i will watch for those ones as well well and then this black one is a good option they did have one that is a capiz and wood inlay but I'm not sure how it is for outdoors it didn't say that it was indoor outdoor so I think that's more of an indoor one but if your patio is covered it might be okay I'll link that just in case because it's really really cute um, I do I do love having just a little side table, you know, so you can set your drink down or whatever when you're doing a patio space. Those are, are kind of the finds for out there. The light fixtures that I mentioned are from a company called Austin Avenue that I'll be telling you more about soon that are that big um, plaster. So cool. Those were a little bit of an investment, but I love how they 
transform that space. It's so pretty. Really classic, really high quality. Just give that that outdoor space, that high-end feel that I, I really wanted to bring. And, and it makes you, when you see this, feel like you could go do your outdoor entertaining. Oh, I also forgot, this is major, the two rugs that I used under those different um, areas off in the back patio, the little dining area, and then the place where I did the fire pit. I put two rugs, like one on each side, and they are the diamond outdoor rug with fringe from the Threshold Studio McGee collection at Target, and they're actually on sale right now. They have different sizes. I got the five by seven because they had that in store, but it also comes in a, like a smaller, um, so you could do just like a, a, like almost like a doormat, two and a half by four feet. Uh, small one and then there's a 7 by 10 if you need something larger and even a 9 by 12 um, that is currently sold out but they do have also the so I got the ivory and gray and they also have this in an ivory and linen so it's more the warmer tones it's really cute because that pattern is subtle the kind of diamond print and then it has the woven or um, braided like fringe end so it just gives some good texture for your outdoor space and the price on that is great right now it's 20% off so I would definitely recommend those um, great outdoor rug you can see by the reviews so far too it's um, all really really positive so glad that I remembered that because those are dang cute and and that was and that was like what I was talking about with bringing that um, kind of like fabric and textures and layers the outdoor rugs are so good for that yeah so I need to get my act together and get get it completely done for that final walkthrough. It, you, you saw how it's coming together and I really was just so thrilled to like see the before and after. So if you haven't seen that video, go, go watch the last one that we posted because the before and after of what that yard was to what we made it was just crazy. Everybody keeps commenting on all the neighbors are like, oh my gosh, the backyard, I didn't know it was that big because those hedges blocking it and stuff. So game changer and just so fun to see that. We are pressing on, we'll have another reveal for the next video, um, which is exciting. So we'll kind of do this format where We'll go see it in person and then we'll just kind of talk through the products and why I selected them. And um, I will be more on top of these next ones. That patio one wasn't quite, it was, we were like throwing it together so fast because we were down to the wire. But it, I mean, it's looking dang cute. I just, you know, usually I have it like fully styled and there's like <laughs> a pitcher of lemonade with glasses that will come in the final tour. So don't miss that. Let me know what you guys are looking for. Are you guys still doing patios? Are we past patios, outdoor spaces? Or what are you working on now? Let me know in comments. We'd love to have you guys subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of future videos. And um, don't miss any of our flip reveals because it's exciting. I've got some fun stuff up my sleeve that I haven't shared with anyone yet. A couple little secrets. So it's gonna be fun. We'll see you guys next time.